Right now, we have around 500 sensors. A uh, couple of them area in Sacramento area, and a couple of them are in India, and a couple of requests coming from Australia. Really, any in New York? But uh, we want loud to come. To, yes, we will be there. We will be there. We are IBM partners. But but the technology that we are seeing, right? We are from the edge level. I would be in the back. Very, very good point. Right now, we started with the blue ocean. We were only a couple of only one players were there. Now, slowly, once we're seeing here, a couple of people are coming up. And we are thinking, yes, we are in the night. <laughs> yeah, the right <laughs> so, what's your roadmap for your um, uh, roadmap is, again, uh, we want to, uh, we are giving, we are giving a lot of requests uh, from both Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and some parts of Europe. So our roadmap is by next year, guys, we wanted to go deploy across the all the areas. We want to start our own data We're doing right now custom made in May, but we wanted to expand our land back And then next next year we wanted to get you. Yes. Yes. We are ready for that. So you have more local farm systems. Are you tied in or are you more siloed right now? Right now, the more area that we are looking at is a couple of things. One was the booster startup and the productivity in the other. We are getting a request from the integration of the milking farm, milking farm side. And that's where we are open to it. We are integrating with that. 
Here we are got a contact with Axsource. They want to also connect with us on the data level. So our interface is open to all. So now to uh, collab and connect with us. So um, is there any open challenges you see that you'd like someone like IBM Research to help with this space? Definitely. One thing what you're seeing from the market is there are some places like especially in Asia and other places where we are seeing a lot of thought leadership we have to educate our customers for benefit. Uh, one uh, one thing maybe that. So second one is from the IBM point of view, right? Again, IBM can help us because when a whatever IBM is that includes more of the IBM high uh, and on the technology side, right? We wanted to again one area of concern is the battery. How can we improve the battery capacity of the IoT level? Now right now we have the request coming from the team is if we wanted security also in place. So what, what we wanted to do is how can we take strings of IoT data? security data and other uh, milk parallel data so that we can do edge analytics and put back into the cloud. This is where IBM can help us a lot because of IBM's uh, complete view of data processing and data collection. Have, um, have you thought much about blockchain? Blockchain, yes, 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 but not not yet. You know, definitely something. I'll, I'll look forward on your expertise on that. Definitely blockchain. Hey, well, what do you say about blockchain wise? Yeah. Yes, we're not not directly invest anything in the blockchain yet, but um, definitely yes, we're open. Yeah. Because um, IBM has a, um, contributed the Open Ledger project for okay. that open source. And it's, I think there's some we recently announced the collaboration uh, you know, around the work so that you could trace authenticity across the world. So you know, I was just curious if it was on your roadmap you know, to share the data in a, in a, a way with trusted parties yes. across yes. the milk supply chain. Yes, we've got it. There's, there's a couple of different players also here, like USD is a couple of individuals. Mm -hmm. Is again, we want to use your data. Second is we are getting data from not only the US, we are getting data from remotes of Asia, which is very really valuable data. If you see the global, global landscape, no, people are people any place. Same as much as you capture the data. You can see the golden part is if you have a data, right? You can have the science. And we are capturing a real source of data that we want to come in. Yes, so, what's the company now? We are in 32. Okay. Yes. We want to expand. We have verticals, Robin. We have verticals on healthcare, agriculture, and the venue analytics, which is more towards uh, applying analytics on the location. Yes. Yes. Well, you just sound very passionate about it. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And any any push to us, you know, he, 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 we wanted to you, you know, definitely any good words. Um, uh, well, it's been a fantastic introduction to uh, new technology that I hadn't known about here at the American Dairy Science Association. So thank, thank you. you guys very thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you, Robin. Thanks for talking. For talking about uh, today, Thursday, November third, twenty sixteen. Uh, day two of ADSA conference. Uh, we had a great response today. We had a successful event. We demoed our product to many of the many key players and we established a couple of good relations or I would say we established a couple of uh, partnership protocols uh, to other players both in USA as well as in Europe especially from Germany. Uh, we had a great response. Uh, we, we, we were key people visited from IBM and other places. Uh, we demoed our product. Uh, we are looking forward third day tomorrow. Uh, very interesting, very, very, very futuristic growth for the company. And thank you, everyone.